Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way so I'm gonna let myself enjoy hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I have a ton of different things to show you guys we're gonna have a shopping haul we're gonna be doing some decorating and of course we're gonna be doing some cleaning so get ready because there's gonna be a ton of inspiration coming your way Today, I gotta let you guys know, I'm not feeling it. I am so tired. I've been not sleeping well the past couple of days. And if, for those of you that don't know, I'm 25 weeks pregnant with my second child. So I'm just not feeling it today, but I knew I had to get some stuff done today. I knew I had to film. So I just like got it together, put on my makeup. And I'm really hoping that as I get going, I get some more energy. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's get right on into the video. We're going to start with some cleaning. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started in the living room today. Typically, I like to start in the kitchen, but I thought let's just do something a little bit different and start out in the living room. So basically, I'm going to just tidy up in here, and then we will move on into the hall after that. I don't have a whole lot to do in here. I just had to, of course, put away blankets and pillows because we always are so lazy on my couch, and we're always snuggled up, and it definitely needed a good vacuum as well as a quick little spot clean. There's a few, lots of times we eat on our couch, and there's definitely a few spots Spots where food is spilled and whatnot so I definitely need to do a little spot clean as well yeah I know what it's like to be broken when nothing goes your way So I'm just gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Cause I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way I won't slow down I am on my way oh, I won't slow down Really quickly, while my boyfriend has Holden away, they are golfing right now. While they're gone, I want to do this quick haul to show you guys everything that I've bought recently. Um, everything that I've bought, everything that I've bought recently. <laughs> so we have a haul from uh, Value Village, which is kind of like a so it's like a secondhand store. Um, we have Dollar Tree, Walmart, Winners and michael's and carter's so six different stores i did a little bit of shopping recently so i want to show you guys what i picked up so we're going to start with the dollar tree stuff so i ended up getting a lot of stuff for an upcoming video i am working on a video where i'm going to be redoing my kitchen so look for that and i got a bunch of stuff that's going to be going with that um i bought a couple of weeks ago I bought new dinnerware and it's just plain glass. Absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It's so cheap, like a dollar twenty-five. 
you can't beat that so I ended up getting an eight piece set when I went the first time and then I was thinking more about it and I thought I might grab a couple of extras just in case I break some I mean they're from Dollar Tree they're probably not as high quality so in case they get broken I went back and picked up a 10 piece set so I got like two more of everything and two more of the salad plates as well so I've got that so these are the salad plates that go with so that is for the kitchen project and then also for the kitchen project are these jars which once again I, I don't want to give you guys too much away so I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be using these for but more jars for storage of things obviously and then I got these gold picture frames and they are just four by six frames those are also going to be <laughs> for the kitchen project i got a lot of stuff for the kitchen project i'm so excited about it you guys and it should be coming i'm hoping by the end of the month but if not early september it's i'm going to be doing a huge transformation in there so it might take a while to square it all away i ended up getting these storage containers they're gold I think they're so pretty I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with them yet they might go with the kitchen um, or I might just use them somewhere else I'm not hundred percent sure but they were really really pretty so I picked up one of each next I got some craft items for Holden so I just got some paper plates and some paints we're always running out of black and white to make things lighter or darker so I got some paints and then I picked up some paint brushes as well for that and then they started coming out with all their Halloween stuff. So I picked up these cute little decor items that we can paint together. I thought I'd do the haunted house one and we can do the pumpkin one. So I figured that'd be a really cute little activity that we can do together. And I also got him this little train that he can paint as well. He's gonna be having another <laughs> video that we're gonna be having coming up soon is gonna be Holden's bedroom transformation. And we're gonna be giving him a train room. So this will go really well in there. Next, I have this uh, photo paper. So this is just like you can print off actual photos on glossy paper and it's just for your inkjet printer. And they had that at Dollar Tree. So I picked up a couple packs of that to print off some photos for my new frames. And then I got this just basic white shower curtain to use as a liner for the inside of our shower curtain. I got a deodorant, a little mini deodorant to keep in my diaper bag. And lastly from Dollar Tree, I got a bunch of socks. So we got these Thomas ones and some Spider-Man ones and more Thomas ones. So my child is obsessed with trains. <laughs> so Thomas everything. So that is everything that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So now let's move on to Winners, which was the second biggest haul that I got. And the first thing that I bought was this little sleep sack for my new little babe that's going to be arriving in November. I thought I was being so thrifty by saving all of Holden's clothes for the past three years. But Holden was born in May and this baby's going to be born in November. So everything, <laughs> everything is flip flop. So all of Holden's really small clothes, like zero to three months, are like summer clothes and I'm going to need winter clothes for this baby. So... I picked this up, this little sleep sack. It was so cute. Got that at Winners. It's nice and thick and warm. Be perfect because he's gonna be sleeping in our room for the first few months and we usually keep our room fairly cold, especially in winter, so that'll be perfect for him. Next, I picked up a whole bunch of, of hair masks. Um, because I do bleach my hair, I try to only wash my hair once a week, sometimes twice a week. And what I do is I just wash it with shampoo, but then I always use a hair mask instead of regular conditioner. Um, so I was running out of hair masks, so I needed to restock up. So I got these premium variety packs. So these ones have all different kinds. And my mom had bought these for me for Christmas last year, and I really, really liked them. So this one has, what does it have? It has tea tree oil, coconut, Oh, tea tree, coconut, vitamin E, and macadamia nut oil. So each one is a different kind. And then this one has Jehovah, olive, tea tree, and coconut oils. And then this one has macadamia, Jehovah, coconut, and shea butter. 
And then I also got this large guy, and this is a keratin one. This is a keratin hair mask, and it's for damaged and dry hair. So I'm stocked up on hair masks now. We good to go for the next little while. And lastly from Winners, I picked up these makeup remover wipes because I've been finding, I've been trying to wear makeup more, like I've been trying to do it every day or at least like five times out of the week because I just find that once I get ready in the morning, it just helps me to be pr more productive, especially being pregnant and <laughs> having a toddler. Honestly, I could just lazy around all day, every day and do nothing, <laughs> but that's not gonna get me anywhere where I need to be in life. So I need to be more motivated and that definitely helps me. So I got these makeup remover wipes because sometimes at the end of the night, I just don't, I can't be bothered. I don't want to actually wash my face. I don't want to take a shower. I just want to crawl into bed because this mama is tired. So that is everything from Winners. Um, next is the items that I got from Value Village and this is a secondhand thrift store and I only got a couple of things from here. I picked up this t-shirt for Holden for $1.99 and it's just got this little yellow dinosaur on it and it's in this striped army pattern. Super cute, $1.99, can't go wrong. And of course, a haul wouldn't be a haul for me without a book. <laughs> so I picked up Daughter of the Pirate King and this is a young adult book that I've actually been looking into getting for some time but I wanted to find it like on sale somewhere. I very rarely buy books brand new, full price from the bookstore. So I'm really happy that I happened to find this one there. So next I got one thing at Michael's and this is this sticker pack for my uh, planner. So I've been trying to like work on my planner more and use my planner more and so I've been buying these sticker packs in order to try to like spruce up my planner and make it more fun to use. So I got this sticker book and it is the to-do pack. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see if I flip through any of them. Ooh, they're taped shut. So it just has like a bunch of different stickers in it. I feel like I'm probably too far away that you guys can't see this, but they're really cute. They have like little checklists and little like motivational sayings on there. So they're really fun. Then at Carter's, they were having a sale. I only managed to get one thing because they don't have all of their fall and winter stuff out yet. But I got this little sleep sack for him. This is zero to three months and this is on sale for $10. Super cute, just the light blue and it has little white elephants all over it. And this one will be good because I'm having a harder time finding like fleece onesies for him because it's early. <laughs> but I have all of Holden's old, like all of Holden's regular onesies that aren't fleece. They're just like the t-shirt material. So I figured I could just put him in one of those and then put this over top and that should be good. It's kind of like a little sleep sack. And then lastly is the things that I purchased from Walmart. So once again, I got more hair masks. I got the Mark Anthony macadamia nut oil and coconut oil and shea butter. So I'm, I'm really good for hair masks now. <laughs> I'm really, really good. And then I got this CoverGirl mascara. This is the Lash Blast and this is in the very black not waterproof. I made a mistake the last time that I purchased um, mascara and I got waterproof and like, no, I do not need waterproof. <laughs> it is so hard to get off. Like you girls that wear that every day, how? Like it, it drives me insane trying to get it off. So went back to my tried and true <laughs> and I did not get the waterproof. Then the last item that I picked up is this little onesie, this little fleece onesie and it says little brother on it. It is so adorable. So those are the items that I picked up in my latest shopping haul. So yeah, let me know what you think about all of them. Okay, so now that we're finished with the haul, I'm gonna go ahead and just put everything away. So I'm just gonna basically haul everything to its separate rooms and then once I get to each particular room, I'll actually put it away, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then we are also are going to be getting into some decorating here really soon. So if you have seen my last video, it was where I redecorated my mom's bedroom and she bought from us our bedroom set that we had in the basement and so as of right now that room is fairly empty so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be taking this bookshelf back downstairs it seems i only brought it up here a few months ago but while while we gave my mom the bedroom furniture she had this beautiful blue cabinet it's kind of like a teal color 
in her bedroom uh, before that doesn't fit there any longer so she gave it to us <laughs> so we kind of switched some pieces around and I brought that teal piece home and we're gonna put it here and I just absolutely love the way it looks because it's not quite as big so it doesn't take up as much room and it just looks this looks a lot better it's not quite as crowded over in this corner anymore you guys will see it in a few minutes here show me, show me. I just set the shelf to the side and my boyfriend will take it down later and then I'm bringing in this blue cabinet and I just absolutely love the way it looks with my mirror. I'm wanting to start to bring in more wood into my home. I just love the way it looks. Like I've never used to be a huge wood person but I absolutely love the way that it looks now and I'm wanting to bring more of those elements in. I love the feeling of like wood and like gold or copper together along with teal kind of colors like so pretty so i'm definitely looking to add kind of more of that feel into my home mixed materials i love that So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going across my big bookshelves and I'm picking out books that I have not read yet and I'm going to stick them in here. Now I already have a to be read cart in my bedroom which you guys have probably seen before. I have a cart of books in my bedroom and those are, that's kind of like my to be read list. The ones that I am going to be getting to first and then now these ones that I put in here are the ones that are going to go after that one. So I have like a reading order in mind. And if you want to hear me talk more about books, because obviously I'm a book lover, I do have another YouTube channel that I started actually way before this one. Um, and it's called She Reads. I do have it linked in the description box below, but that is basically a channel where I talk all about books and reading and what I'm reading and book reviews. And I do book hauls over there and basically any sort of bookish content you can find over there for me. Okay, so now that I'm done with my decorating, I noticed that these tables were getting pretty yucky and I haven't actually dusted in a while. So I wanted to go ahead and wipe down the tables and then also get to dusting those shelves that are above my couch because I honestly can't even remember the last time that I dusted them. Okay, so this is the after. This is how everything turned out. I'm really, really happy with how it looks. Like I said, I love the mixed metal look together, like mixed materials with the metals and the woods. Absolutely love that look, and I'm definitely gonna be looking to bring more of that in, especially come winter time. But in any case, now that we are finished in the living room and everything is looking really pretty in here, 
it is time to head over into the kitchen. So in the kitchen, it actually wasn't too, too bad in here. I had some stuff to clean up from lunch um, and just like dishes, of course. Dishes are just never ending. <laughs> but while I have you guys here, I wanted to take a couple of minutes and just talk to my new followers because I have gained quite a few subscribers recently. So I just wanted to say welcome. If you guys are still here in this video and you're this far along, I would know I'm already 20 minutes into the video. But if you are still here, I appreciate it so much. Um, I am a Canadian mom of one little boy named Holden and he is three gonna be three and a half here in the next couple of months and I'm currently 26 weeks pregnant with our second son I'm a stay-at-home mom up until the pandemic was going on I was running an at-home daycare but my doctor had advised me to close it down while I was pregnant with the pandemic going on so I am now a stay-at-home mom, which is what I did before starting my daycare. I actually only had my daycare for about a year uh, before this all happened. So just a crazy, crazy world that we live in, isn't it? But in any case, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really appreciate all the support that I've been receiving lately. I don't know anybody that could compare to you. The way you're always smiling, the way you light up a room. I couldn't live without you. Not even if I tried, cause every day I'm with you I'm flying over the clouds Oh yeah Yeah, I'm flying over the clouds And I'm not coming down Every time we touch our feet Okay, you guys, so now I have to take downstairs all of the books that were on that shelf, and I need you to know that immediately upon going downstairs with these giant bags of books, as I was halfway down the stairs, the handles ripped on the bags and all of the books went flying down the stairs. So that was really, really fun. <laughs> but after that, after I cleaned up all that on the stairs, <laughs> I was gonna leave in the audio, but I said some bad words in there. So <laughs> when, the, when it happened. So I just had to tidy up <laughs> the um, kitchen table so that I could fold laundry on there later. And now we are heading into the master bedroom where I have to make the bed of course and once again Priya I always have a cat laying on my bed my two cats the black one is Priya and the white one is Willow and one of them is always <laughs> during the day laying in my bed and I every single day have to disturb them and they get very upset with me but they're so cute I can't help it like they're just so sweet and I always give them a little snuggle I'm like I'm sorry but they're just they're mad at me when I do it which Rightly so, I would be mad at me too. But anyway, so I'm gonna make the bed and just tidy up in here. My dresser is always such a catch-all and I always am constantly cleaning it off.
All right, you guys, we are nearing the end of the video and I'm gonna be finishing off by folding a bunch of laundry. I had about three loads stuffed into this <laughs> basket here. So we've got a ton of laundry folding for you guys. So I definitely hope that you guys enjoy this <laughs> because man, I always wait until the last minute to fold laundry. I hate folding. Well, I don't really necessarily mind the folding part. It's the running down to my basement and swapping it over all the time that really gets me. So <laughs> I always wait until I have so many loads to fold and then I just like put on a podcast or a YouTube video or something and fold it all at once, all together. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of the video was. I hope I was able to inspire you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.